Hi, welcome to Story is Life. My name is Alex Fernandez, and in today's episode, we are reviewing The Lost City. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Um, I got a chance uh, to see The Lost City, and uh, well, here's my review. Well, I hope you guys like uh, the new setup that I have now took me a very long time to do a very long time to figure out but it's something uh it's a prog it's a work in progress i guess so let's move on with the review the summary of this movie is um uh, a romance novelist she goes on a tour she gets kidnapped and the fabio character that is on her, all of her book covers who thinks he's a hero goes to rescue her and um, the, the, the guy who kidnaps her wants some sort of crown and you know, the movies like that. The uh, plot comparables to this movie is um, any Indiana Jones movie, Romancing the Stone, Jewel of the Nile. If any of you have ever seen that, um, that's pretty much what, what this movie is like. The good. So the good in this movie is Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt is awesome. He's great, he has great charisma. He plays a great character in this movie. He creates good conflict in this movie. Another good thing is the genre. The genre is one of my favorite genres. Adventure, uh, treasure, looking for a treasure. Not, not necessarily like Pirates of the Caribbean, but more like Indiana Jones. And uh, this movie was that genre and I'm a big fan of that genre. The bad. The bad in this movie was also Brad Pitt. It was very frustrating to watch Brad Pitt, Channing Tatum, Sandra Bullock kind of work around uh, each other. They weren't together for a very long time, but it didn't work. Um, it was causing me a little bit of uh, stress watching it uh, uh, work. Maybe it's because I saw the, you know, I saw Romance of Stone or Jewel of the Nile, and it, it, you know they. There's so such similar archetypes to those movies, and I had an expectation. And when I watch this, I don't mind you doing the same thing, only different. I like that, but it just wasn't working for me. The chemistry in between them and the dynamic of the characters between them, I didn't, I didn't really like. I didn't care for it. So there's a scene, um, kind of like Stand by Me, where they go into the water and there's leeches. For some reason, the leeches only get on Channing Tatum. And there's this awkward scene between them. I'm not gonna spoil it. Not that there's anything to spoil, but I'm not really gonna get into it. But um, it kind of went a little bit too far, if you know what I mean. I, we didn't need to go to certain places with that, like they did. And unless it's for a setup, if you wanna set something up and then pay it off later in the movie, but it, there was no no payoff for that and it didn't make sense the way she was acting with him in that scene if you watch the movie I, you'll know what i'm talking about it was it was no good the ugly so the ugly in this movie is listen sandra bullock is 57 years old at the time of this video she's hot she's good looking she always was and she will always will be right but her and Channing Tatum don't make a good match, in my opinion. And the way that he was acting in this movie, it felt like he was 18 and it felt like she was 65. Like, you know how you watch a movie, you're like, oh, I want them to, to get together. I didn't feel that way with them. It didn't work at all. And they're, that's my dog scratching the floor. At the time that I'm filming, what are you doing? Can you stop moving around? Go, go to bed. Yeah, stay right there, please. Stay right there, don't move. Anyways, their love story didn't work for me. It wasn't viable, it wasn't believable, it wasn't likable. It just didn't interest me at all. So in every movie, not every movie, but in a lot of movies, we have a theme and we have a lesson that the hero learns, right? Um, I got into an argument, not an argument, we got into a debate in my car uh, every time I go with my family and, <laughs> you know, my daughters, t you know, I, I asked my family, I said, hey, you know, I don't think what she learned had anything to do with what she went through. 
they were like, yeah, what are you talking about? She went through all this stuff and now she learned. And I was like, but what does what she learned have to do with what she went through? I, to me, it didn't make sense. I don't want to spoil it, but it didn't match. It, it, all of a sudden, she magically learned her lesson and now she can move forward with her life. And now, you know, and to me, I didn't buy it. It, it wasn't believable. Listen, I really wanted to like this movie. I really did. This is one of my favorite genres. It, it was just one of these Hollywood, get all the stars in, you know, let's put some CGI, let's do this, let's do that, and let's sell it. And, you know, it didn't work. The villain was dorky, was not compelling, was not dramatic. I get that this movie is not a serious movie, but again, the reason why he wanted the crown wasn't, I didn't buy it. Like, ah, the way he acted at the end, like, there was a lot of thing, plot holes in this movie that didn't add up to me and it kept distracting me from enjoying the movie. The verdict. So, the villain sucked. The theme was nowhere to be found, in my opinion. There was no climax. And for that reason, I give it a three. Sorry folks, that's all I got. Always remember, story is life.